Hey everyone, so it's Vlogmas Day 25 today and because I was one day off, I am now vlogging on Boxing Day, which is today. So I decided not to go out today because I woke up really late, um, mainly because I did stay up a bit yesterday and also I had a bad stomach ache. So I decided to just kind of stay in and chill today. Um, I will be looking at Boxing Day sales online though to see what I can get what deals I can get yeah so right now I am just having some lunch and I'm probably gonna add more to my lunch right now it's really really simple so I just made a cheese and kimchi wrap inside spinach tortilla uh yeah it's really really simple I was craving this cheese that we have I don't know what it's called but it came in a box on a piece of like tin foil and it's like, I don't know, it's like brie kind of, like that kind of consistency, but it tastes really good and it's like garlic flavored, so I really like that. And then homemade kimchi, and then I have my apples, and I also have my tea king mug with water in it. And I think last night my stomach ache was probably from a result of drinking way too much green tea and also drinking or and also eating food that wasn't heated enough i let it sit down for too much i did read a little bit of my felicia day book and it's pretty awesome i'm already like 30 pages in and i feel like i'm going to get this book done probably by the end of the week um if i read at that pace i was hoping to get to 50 pages yesterday but i just got really tired and um decided to play some Heroes of the Storm, and yeah, so let's see what kind of deals I can find today. Super addicted to Japanese documentaries today. I just been watching like Japanology for the entire day, and yeah, it's uh, really good stuff. I'm learning about regional fast food in Japan, and the foods that I'm learning about right now. I've never really eaten them, but um, when I was in Japan, I've never really eaten these foods, except maybe this um, fua fua tamago, which is fluffy egg. I think I've eaten that dish at the ryokan that I stayed in in Beppu. So yeah, it's really cool that I can relate to that. I highly recommend this series if you are into Japanese culture. Okay, never mind. It's showing me ramen now. Yes, I've had ramen many, many times. So there's probably a lot more different regional fast foods I've had in this video. I'm only halfway through, so we'll see. It's time for a snack. So I'm having a Ferrero Rocher. Um, if you don't know what these are, these are basically chocolates with hazelnuts. Um, and then there's hazelnut cream inside. It's basically the chocolate that is in Nutella. Basically what Nutella is, is inside here. And they are actually the same company, so yeah, I am looking forward to it because I love Nutella and I also love Ferrero Rocher's. This is the pen that I use at work. Unfortunately, I did something really dumb. I tried to, um, put my jacket sleeve on while this was in my hand and little did I know that it was so fragile that it broke the top right off the pen and so the top is pretty much what is the awesome part of the pen so I'm going to attempt to try to glue it back on um, this pen actually cost me 940 yen in Japan which is equivalent to about $10 Canadian here and um, it's not a cheap pen for sure, but it works pretty well and I miss using it at work. haven't used it for like a week now, so hopefully I can fix that up. Um, and speaking of pens, I'm just looking at jbox.com right now. It is a site that sells Japanese goods from Japan. And that's the pen that I have right now, which is the Mars pen. Um, and yeah, I'm looking at maybe purchasing a day timer. Too bad they don't have Boxing Day sales because I would totally snake those deals. Um, but right now I'm just browsing, seeing what they have. This looks really tempting, but unfortunately this is just a pointer pen, so it's actually not even a pen. Because actually, 
if you see this here, um, so if you see this pen here, actually, this is a Jupiter pointer pen, and this cost me 1400 yen, and little did I know it wasn't an actual pen, it is just a pointer pen, so what happens is this actually, this star actually extends so you can point at things if you're like talking to people or trying to show people things. So let me just pull this out for you guys. Alright, so it's been pulled out right now and this is just a quarter of the length that it can go. It can go pretty, pretty high, but it's very convenient if you need to like point to things for people, so... Yeah, um, I was really disappointed when I finally opened it up and discovered that it wasn't an actual pen because I was looking forward to using it during my um, class at school. But, oh well, it's a collector's item now, so maybe if I decide to cosplay in the future or if I know someone who wants to cosplay as Sailor Jupiter, I can lend them this pen. Yeah, wee. Uh, I want this Umaru. Animal hoodie so badly. There's only one left in stock right now. Um, but it's a little bit too expensive. $48 USD uh, with the Canadian dollar right now. That's probably like 60 bucks just for this head. That would probably keep me warm. I don't know. <laughs> uh, maybe next time. <laughs>